Oh shit. Uh apologies. Um ignore this. You don't gotta worry about that. Um let's just say I just got back from um some cringe. And uh you'll definitely be seeing a video of it pretty soon on the 31st of this October. So there'll be more context with that. So uh yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty messed up right now in the head after what I've seen. So <sighs> my god. Anyway, uh you guys got some questions for me. Yeah 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 we're well, good we're well, good we're well, good Eric Zilli here with yet another video and of course it is time for our usual annual birthday Q and A's. This is something that I do sometimes on my channel and uh yeah I've sent out a message to all of you guys on my Instagram, uh, Discord, and of course my community tab on YouTube, and you guys have sent quite a few um, questions, most of them being the questions I've already answered in past birthday Q&As. So with that out of the way, let's get this shit rolling. Now of course, since I'm using my phone to record here, I'm going to be using my old phone to answer you guys' questions. Also I want to mention that some of these questions are random so I'm not gonna be going to like oh okay we're gonna start here we're gonna start there no we're just gonna go random so yeah even Klein has three questions for me three questions all right number one would you do a demon or critique of infinite dragon 900 two what is your favorite Ultraman kaiju three what is your favorite prehistoric animal also wish you a happy birthday too thank you man um, really appreciate that and of course we got three questions here. So what I do a Demon Arc can I do a Demon Arc Critique on Infinite Dragon 900? No, because well I finished Demon Arc Critique like 9, 20, 2019? 2019 was when I finished Demon Arc Critique, so yeah I can't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um what is your favorite Ultraman Kaiju? Geronimo. Uh what is your favorite prehistoric animal? Um when it comes to prehistoric animals, it's uh, it's kind of a mix between uh, Megalania or the, um, the the Triceratops. All right, next question, Commander E says, the absolute best Ultraman show in your opinion, and why it stands out. Let guess, 1966, Ethan. Edit. Happy birthday, bro. Wish you the best. Love you, man. Um, yeah. Thank you for that, uh, happy birthday and all that. I really appreciate that, I really do. Um, now the question here is, what is the best Ultraman show in my opinion and why it stands out? And of course he guessed 1966, I guess. Um, well, okay, I do, like honestly, I do have a lot of passion for the 66. The original, for me at least, has always been sort of, has always been my favorite show. Because it's because it was the show that started it all, you know, and just when it, like you know, it's kind of the same with like for example like Common Rider, you know. I really love the original Common Rider, but when it comes to the best Ultraman show, honestly, can't really answer that. I don't have, I don't even know if there's even the best of the best. I don't even know. There is there is so much great Ultraman shows in the franchise that I can't even give you. A real specific answer on what could be considered the best Ultraman show. It really just goes down to your preference and just overall what you think of it, you know, I guess. So it really just depends. I so honestly when it comes to this answer, like I can't I can't really and I mean in a way I sort of answered it for you right there. I, I just I don't really I don't really know any shows of Ultraman that could be considered the best. So, I don't know. It's really just... It really is just like that, really. Alright, Indoraptor asks, Will you continue the Godzilla Crunch series? Yes, I will. Um, there, there is some cringe I want to discuss about. But at the moment, I'm pretty damn um, traumatized right now. Let's just say you'll you'll see what I mean on the 31st, as I just mentioned. 
All right, next question comes from David Dumbed Down. What do you feel about your old DeviantArt videos? So much mixed emotions about them. Honestly, not to go into too much, because I don't want to make this video very long, but to, when it comes down to DeviantArt critiques, like all my old DeviantArt critiques, I honestly have a mixed bag about them. Some of them I don't like because of how I executed them. And also at the same time, in my earlier years of DeviantArt critique, I was really just a toxic motherfucker. <laughs> I was just a toxic kid and I was just like like at the same time I was still giving out critiques I was still giving my thoughts and opinions on people's art but honestly at the same time there are some demon art critique videos that I did that I do not regret because some of, some of those people actually reached out to me thanking me for critiquing on their art and honestly to this day even some of them have improved on their art and it's pretty damn amazing for the most part the old demon art critique videos i'll have to say i just some of them i'm just not proud of but some of them i don't regret all right next question right here who is the most cringe at person you've ever done a godzilla cringe on that 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 was uh that, that was a bit worded the, it was worded out a bit weird but i understand what he's trying to ask what, what was the most cringiest person i've ever done a godzilla cringe on um that's a hard one because it's uh there's, there's a few people that are that like don't i don't know i don't know who's the most cringiest person i've ever done a, a video on but um i don't know like what what could be specified as a cringy person i guess i don't know Kind of similar to Commander E's question, like I can't give you a specific answer for this. Like, I don't know who can be like the worst or like the most cringiest person in, that I've done a Godzilla cringe on. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me down in the comments down below who is the most cringiest person I've done a Godzilla cringe on. So you guys let me know. My next question here is from Skechers. I. In light of Halloween favorite horror movie and fantasy Halloween costume, like if you could have any Halloween costume free of charge, what would it be? Um, I don't know because I do not wear costumes. <laughs> if I if I just randomly go into a Halloween store and I was given a free costume or given an option to like this costume was free and all that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know uh, what kind of costume I would want. Maybe, maybe a weird like Japanese demon. I, I don't know. I don't. Really, I don't know. What, what, I don't know what kind of costume I would really want. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I I, I I don't know. I don't know. Our right, next question here from Toku Punk. What is the most cringe thing you have ever saw out of all the cringe you see? <laughs> Oh my god. As someone that has been on the internet for quite a while, I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of both weird, cringe, disturbing, horrific, fucked up shit on my on the internet and it's, it is it's always baffled me. It always has. Um I don't know if this compilation still exists, but honestly, the most cringiest thing I've ever seen is basically the brony comp brony cringe compilation <laughs> the brony cringe compilations man like so get this right it's like you see these men you see these guys you know they got full neck beard full fedora full, full on fedora on and they're just over here in the girls aisle and all that and like there was this one point where i saw a video of like in that compilation of like some guys around some My Little Ponies and then you could see some little girls behind them like if they're trying to go for the My Little Pony figures too and I was just like fuck man <laughs> and they're over here like saying like they're over here swearing and all that in front of the kids and at the time I was just like bro what the hell <laughs> what the fuck and just yeah it was just really weird and even then though it's like some of the kids were in like you know like the camera was focusing in on this guy and then you can see from behind him you can see the little girls like 
looking around at the ponies and then they and then like they didn't find what they were looking for and they were like all sad and I was like oh my god <laughs> no way and then and, I don't know man that compilation was so freaking cringe dude it, it was so uncomfortable and so awkward at the same time those bronies man they're freaking they're fucked they're fucked up <laughs> so yeah I, I'd say out of all the cringe I've seen that 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 was the most cringiest thing I've seen. Honestly, it's, it's that Brony compilation. <laughs> I like this question right here. Carnival Productions asks the most common question you get. Probably the most common question I get is what's my favorite Godzilla monster? What's my favorite Godzilla film? What's my favorite Godzilla incarnation? What's your favorite like Godzilla enemy? What's your favorite this and that? What freaking? How, what's your thoughts on Godzilla's freaking massive cock? Okay, maybe not that question, <laughs> but it's there's so much countless of those kind of questions. Even when like when I was working on some of the questions here that you guys have sent me, there has been so many questions of that. I mean, at the same time though, it's kind of like like I don't blame them at the same time because not a lot of people really know me that well in the Godzilla community. I'm because believe it or not, not too many people know me too well in the Godzilla community. Even though I've already made my stamp on the Godzilla community at this point where like everyone knows me for what I've done in the past or freaking, for example, like that D-Man video I did, everyone knows me for that. So yeah, I pretty much made my mark on the Godzilla community, but at the same time, it's like they don't really have any other questions to ask me or maybe, or maybe they just like met me for the first time and they want to know, oh, what's your favorite Godzilla enemy or this and that. So, I get those questions a lot, so it's those are probably the most common questions I get when I begin, uh, get asked a question like that in the Godzilla community. Alright, next question here. <laughs> I'm not reading this, I'm not reading that, that freaking username. Uh, what is the worst thing that happened in your life? Um, the worst thing that ever happened in my life was, uh, was, um, back in high school. Um... There's, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a full-on game, but back in the day I did a lot of football, and uh, probably the worst thing that ever happened was like this guy, like I had the football, was running towards the goal, get freaking tackled on the fucking floor, and that tackle fucked up everything on this waist. Like he tackled me like that on my waist, like on my rib cage and everything. I felt like shit throughout that whole day of school. <laughs> I was in tremendous pain after that, man. Cause that, cause he was pretty big. He was like almost bigger than me. And he had, like he was more bulkier than me in, in some ways. So that tackle, man, really fucked me over, man. It was, it, it was fucked. <laughs> There's no other way of putting it. So yeah, guys, um, yeah. The most fucked up thing that ever happened in my life. Getting tackled by a fucking bulky motherfucker in, in football, so there you go. Alright, next question comes from Nykaris here, who goes by your bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so the question is, who inspired you to do YouTube? Um, Probably the main inspirations for me that wanted me to do YouTube was Ultimate Kronos. This guy, currently, as of now, he's not active on this channel in particular but basically he did a lot of tour reviews at back in the day and you know that's what got me into collecting and just overall wanting me to do tour reviews my very first video was the 2014 Godzilla video review so like even though I have like other shit on my channel like my thoughts internet oddities Godzilla frames all this other content that I make I still always try my best to do some more tour reviews because you know I like to I like to do those kind of videos also so and also that's what started this channel in the beginning was tour reviews so um, I always try to you know include more tour reviews and more um, other stuff at the same time so yeah overall when it comes down to it what inspired me Ultimate Chronos. This question here from Dyke Hydro Guy favorite Jurassic Park film honestly the very first Jurassic Park film was Jurassic Park 3 so honestly Jurassic Park 3 was Jurassic Park 3 is uh, is a favorite of mine it's uh, 
Mainly because it was the very first Jurassic Park film that I watched, and at that time, it was still sort of new. Like, I, I believe I was like five or seven years old at the time, so it was, uh, you know, it was a film that still was in, engraved. So it was a film that was still sort of engraved in people's minds. So, um, yeah, I would say uh, Jurassic Park 3. Out of all the cheesy sci-fi movie monster designs, which one would you prefer? Um, out of all the cheesy sci-fi movies, um, the robot monster. <laughs> the robot monster. Um, I forgot what year it came out in 19... Like, I know it came out in 1950s, but it was... Um, I don't know the specific date, but a lot of quotes in that film that you could quote out, it's just, it's great, man. You sound like a human, not a Roman. <laughs> it's so, I don't know, man, Robot Monster, like, when it comes to just cheesy sci-fi movies, that pretty much pops into my mind. Alright, next question here, Cutie Zen asks, what's your favorite character? What's my favorite? From where? There, there isn't. There really isn't specific. <laughs> There's not really anything specific here. Just what's your favorite character? Um. <laughs> um. I. I. I I can't answer that. I, I don't know. All right, next question here. Discounted filthy Frank. What got you into Tokusatsu? Um, so what got me into Tokusatsu was basically Godzilla. Yeah. Um, Godzilla was the very first Tokusatsu-related uh, thing I've ever seen. So um, yeah, I, I watched that, and then after that, I watched. Ultraman, all the franchises on Ultraman on TokyoMonsters.com. Of course, I've discovered a whole array of different other Tokusatsu shows: Zone Fighter, Kamen Rider, um, Go Ranger. There's so many different, just so many different variety of Tokusatsu shows and films. It was a lot. So, yeah, pretty much, you know, Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla was the one that got me into tokusatsu in the first place, so. Yeah guys, that was pretty much all the questions right there that I was able to compile all around because, you know, there's other questions that you guys have asked me and most of them were pretty much questions that I've already answered already, so yeah. Sorry about that. Honestly, I do enjoy making these kind of videos where it's like birthday Q and A's, you know, like I started, I think in 2019, I believe, or 2018. I do not remember, but, um, you know, I started from there and, uh, you know, all of you guys, you know, come with, come over here with questions and all that. Um, yeah, I'm 22 years old now, so I'm pretty much, uh, still gonna be vibing and chilling. <laughs> That's pretty much the simple answer right there. Um, so yeah, there's not really much else to say, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video once again. And uh, expect a lot of uh, new stuff coming out this week and uh, the next week after that. So expect a lot of good stuff coming out for this channel. Not really much else to say. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.